In this video, we'll be looking at the different types of water conditioners and filtration systems and their benefits. Water is considered hard when it has minerals like calcium and magnesium. These can clump together and clog pipes and valves, which reduce the lifespan of your pipes and plumbing fixtures. Well water often contains many of these minerals, including some other metals like iron. Water softeners remove these minerals from the water, making the hard water soft. We're gonna cover three different methods we can use to condition the water. Salt-based water softeners, salt-free water softeners, or scale inhibitor systems, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems. Your traditional water softener is a salt-based system. These systems provide water to the entire house and have high flow rates. Salt-based water softeners have resin beads inside the system that attract calcium, magnesium, and other minerals. When these minerals bind to the resin, they're replaced with sodium ions. To allow your water softener to keep up this ion exchange, you'll need to add salt regularly. However, the resin lasts a long time and is relatively inexpensive to replace, and salt-based systems generally have a long lifespan with proper care and maintenance. Here we're going to show salt-based system operation. In service position, water flows down through the resin, removing the hardness minerals, and up the distributor tube, providing soft water. Over time, the resin beads become saturated with hard minerals. This is when regeneration starts. The system switches over into regeneration mode and water flows into the brine tank, which is full of salt. Then it goes into backwash mode. Water enters through the distributor tube, flushing debris out through the drain. The brine solution is drawn from the brine tank and flows through the resin, replacing hardness ions with sodium. Next is the rinse cycle. Water rinses the resin, flushing out the remaining brine and hardness ions. This prevents salt water from entering the home. Keep in mind, during this process, the drain will contain salt, and considerations should be made about where this discharge goes so that way it doesn't corrode copper pipes or damage plants. Next, the system returns to service position, providing softened water once again. However, while salt-based systems will remove hard minerals from your water, they're ineffective against bacteria and negatively charged substances like chloride and fluoride. The primary benefit of removing hard minerals from the water is that it prevents scale buildup. Scale buildup can clog your pipes and cause valves to malfunction, both of which can result in expensive repairs. When maintained properly, water softeners take the scale out of the equation. Soft water is also better for cleaning, especially when it comes to laundry. Hard water can cause scale to build up on your dishes. A water softener will reduce this problem as well. You'll also be able to use less detergent when you have soft water. This will help you save money in the long run. Softer water also improves the condition of your skin and hair. Some people prefer the texture of hard water, but soft water has been known to make skin and hair softer. More recently, salt-free water softeners have reached the market. They may also be called scale inhibitor systems, as they aren't true water softeners. Scale inhibitors prevent the buildup of minerals in your pipes, but they don't provide the other benefits of traditional water softeners. Instead of using salt to remove minerals from the water, scale inhibitor systems use a medium to crystallize the minerals in the water. While those minerals stay in the water, they've been chemically altered so that they can't stick together and build up on pipes and fixtures. Again, while scale inhibitors prevent scale buildup, they won't give you the other benefits of soft water. Scale inhibitors often have higher installation costs, but you spend less money on upkeep and maintenance over the long run, and you don't have to worry about replenishing salt. They also take up less space than traditional water softeners because they don't require an additional tank for brining and draining. You'll often also add multi-stage filtration, which can remove things like bacteria from the water. Drinking water systems, also called reverse osmosis or RO systems, don't focus on removing or treating the minerals in the same way that water softeners and scale inhibitor systems do. 
Instead, they remove all the stuff from the water, including bacteria and minerals. Reverse osmosis systems are typically installed under the sink and come with their own faucet. They provide purified, soft water through this faucet. In these systems, high pressure forces water through a series of filters, usually two or three on the bottom, with the reverse osmosis membrane on top that removes impurities from the water at the molecular level. Keep in mind that we're going to show one configuration. There are other RO modules that may have more or fewer filters in a different order. The first filter is often a sediment filter that removes the large particles from the water. The second filter is a carbon filter, which is a basic taste and odor filter. The third filter is another carbon filter that may add extra protection against volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, and heavy metals like lead. The filter across the top is the most important one, the reverse osmosis filter cartridge. This one has a membrane that only allows water to pass through at the molecular level. While H2O molecules pass through, minerals, toxic impurities called PFAS, and bacteria can't pass through the membrane. The wastewater containing these impurities is collected at one end of the filter and discreetly drained from the system. So you'll need to tie your reverse osmosis system into a drain line. Water goes through the reverse osmosis process slowly, and it collects in an accumulator or pressure tank, which stores the filtered water until it's ready to be used. When this tank is at maximum capacity, the automatic shutoff valve, or ASO valve, keeps it from overflowing. Before going through the faucet, there is one more filter through which the water must pass. This filter is usually on top of the reverse osmosis membrane, and it's a carbon post filter that removes any final traces of VOCs and odors. Finally, some reverse osmosis systems might have a regeneration module, which reintroduces minerals into the filtered water. Many people prefer the taste of hard water, and the minerals provide some essential nutrients. However, keep in mind that you'll get most of your recommended vitamins and minerals from food, not from your water. These systems can also be applied to homes that rely on well water easily with a few piping modifications. At Kalo Services, we can install systems in any home, regardless of whether you're adding a new water softener for the first time or replacing an old one. Our water softener systems are built here in Central Florida, which means that we can quickly and easily source repair parts. Our water softeners are built to commercial grade standards, and we offer a 10-year warranty on tanks and a 5-year warranty on valves. Most of the systems we install can be installed in one day with minimum water service interruptions. And the Kalo Services team can design a system specifically for your household needs. You can learn more about our plumbing services today at kalosflorida.com.